Hello and welcome, my name is Idris and today we're looking at some of the new functions added to ZBrush 2018 uh, regarding the curve brushes. So let's pick one. For instance, this one. So now, if you make a curve, uh, you have now the uh, ability to extend that curve. See if you if you point if you move your uh, mouse or tablet or pen it's near the end of the curve, you can see there's this small uh, red line that is drawn, and that means that you're snapping through the end of your curve, and that you can now extend it. And you can find this under curve. Let's dock this on the side. Curve. Where is it? Curve. Good curve. Curve modifier. Curve snap distance. So this is where you can change this uh, snapping distance to extend your curve. Like so. They've also added uh, this lock and end uh, options. That means now when you edit your curve, the uh, start and end points will remain in where they are. And they've added those two elastic and liquid functions. Uh, elastic, when you turn elastic or liquid, they will turn off lock and lock start and lock end because um, the elastic and liquid enables you to uh, increase uh, to increase to extend the length of your uh, curve without. Um, to extend the, the length of your curve, but in the middle portions. So if you wanted to extend your curve, you can see that it keeps creating more and more, but the uh, beginning and the end of our curve uh, stays in the same position. And the liquid option does exactly the same thing, except that it does it in a much uh, smoother fashion. So um, elastic is better for making uh, straighter curves, straighter lines. And um, liquid is um, better for making curves. And that's pretty much it for the uh, the new functions of the curve mode. Uh, they've also added the ability to uh, rotate and smooth uh, the curve. So you can see that when you uh, hover over uh, a curve, the uh, brush uh, the brush logo is blue. When you're outside of the curve, it's red, your normal red. When you're over the curve, you can hit the S key to adjust the size of the uh, brush, but that will not affect the size of the uh, curve. So now you can edit more, um, you can edit a larger area. But if you hit S with your red cursor. Now, when you're going to tap on the curve, you're going to increase the uh, thickness. So now you have the ability to uh, uh, work on a bigger area of your curve, independently of uh, adjusting your um, curve thickness. Uh, also, when you have this uh, blue uh, blue uh, icon on your brush uh, and you start editing, so you can move your curve around at any point, turn off liquid, 
So you can move your curve around. You could put this back into position, lock start, lock end, and just simply edit it. And if you want to, um, if you want to increase anything, you can just uh, simply hit elastic or liquid. But and now with that uh, blue function, if you start editing, and then once you click or hit the tablet, instead of moving, you can hold shift to smooth out your curve. And using the same method, you can start clicking and then instead of uh, moving or holding shift, you can hold control. And now you can rotate uh, your curve in position. So you can rotate parts of it. You can hit S to make it bigger and then rotate and twist a bigger portion. So this is how you could uh, uh, rotate your curve along the spline. Also, I forgot to mention, if you have this elastic or liquid option, uh, you can actually shorten your uh, curve. So you can extend it, but you can also uh, shorten it. It's a bit easier to do with the uh, liquid brush or the liquid option than the elastic. You can do with the elastic one, but it, it starts to wrap on itself. So if you wanna, if you've made your curve too long and you, it's almost what you wanted, but it's just a bit too long using the liquid option, you can go and erase parts of that curve. So yes, this is uh, pretty much all there is to it. So you can snap to extend your curve. You could use the elastic and liquid to modify, to increase the length or shorten the length of your curve. And you can, using uh, lock start and end, you can just edit parts of it. And finally, uh, you can start clicking on the curve with the blue brush, uh, the blue icon, uh, and then using shift, you can smooth it, or using control, you can uh, rotate that brush into position. And that's going to wrap this video. A very fairly quick and straightforward one and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.